Hello, welcome to Luann's Creative Corner. I've been having a ton of fun with Lawn Fawn's new platform pop-up dies, and I thought I'd show you the most recent one I've made. I made eight of this Easter design to give to neighbors, sisters, and some missionaries for my church. I've seen videos for a few other platform pop-up baskets, but not any using embossing folders, so I thought I'd show how I did it. Before embossing each piece, I folded on all the score lines. The embossing folder I use to give a basket weave texture is from Doris. It's a larger embossing folder, but I still needed to fold the platform piece so that it would fit nicely in the folder. I made sure to place the piece with the area that will show on the outside of the platform down, since that created the basket texture that I liked the most. I also figured it was just as easy to have that little tab hang out of the folder and not be embossed. Although, when I put it all together, many of the embossed parts needed to be adhered to each other, and I didn't have any problems with them staying together. As you see, I'm running the piece in the embossing folder through a big shot. This is actually the one I have at work for my craft program, and what I learned is that this process will not work for every embossing folder or even every machine. The big shot that I have at home is much older, and it is actually the machine I used to cut and then emboss the pieces I used to make the eight baskets. And it worked beautifully. It wasn't until I tried to recreate the process using the big shot at work that I realized how much more pressure this big shot places on the folder and the cardstock, even using the same exact sandwich. As you see, it placed way too much pressure on the cardstock, warping and weakening it. Also, it caused rips in multiple places. This embossed piece would never work for a platform pop-up. The cardstock has been weakened way too much in the embossing process. I'm showing here one of the pieces embossed in my older Big Shot, and while the texture has been embossed into the cardstock, it wasn't so forceful that it weakened the cardstock very much at all. Now look at the piece that I showed being embossed earlier. Even the color of the paper has changed just slightly because of the pressure applied in the embossing folder. So if you want to try this technique, be sure to test things first using the same cardstock, embossing folder, and die cut machine that you will be using for your project. I was lucky in that the equipment I used first worked beautifully. I don't believe that this would work using a 3D embossing folder or any folder that creates deep texture in your cardstock. Although, as I've shown in this case, the difference wasn't caused by the folder, but by the machine. There are many ways to add additional pressure to the sandwich you run through your machine, but not so many to reduce that pressure. So you'll just have to try and see what works with the machine that you have. I also used an embossing folder to add some texture to the handle. I created the handle by cutting some cardstock using layering oval dies, essentially creating an oval frame. I cut two for each handle and glued them together. I tried three different embossing folders for the handle to see which one I liked best. I thought they were all fine, so I used those handles for two of the baskets, but I liked the sunburst embossing folder the best, so I used it for the remainder of the basket handles. One of the advantages of using an embossing folder to add the basket texture is that I could cut all the basket pieces from white cardstock and then add just a bit of color using inks and my sponge daubers. I also had fun shopping my stash for Easter supplies, mixing and matching retired Stampin' Up! products with newer purchases from Lawn Fawn. I'm showing here my first two platform pop-up cards. This platform is the perfect vehicle for pulling out stamp sets that you haven't used yet or haven't used in a long time. I created these with Lawn Fawn critters that I had colored long ago and hadn't used yet. These are just a ton of fun, and I plan to make many more in the future. I would love to hear your ideas for using the platform pop-up. Post in the comments below, especially if you have used an embossing folder with the platform pop-up. I would love to hear how it worked out. Thanks for stopping by Luann's Creative Corner. I hope you have a great day. Bye.